Hey guys, it's Nicole with Honest Try TV. I am back and ready to cook up a ton of food for our nine month old. So I made the mistake, the huge mistake of going grocery shopping on an empty stomach. I was starving, hadn't eaten at all today. And I went to Whole Foods at around 11, 11 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock. And of course, of course I went crazy. So I stuck purely to the produce section. I only picked up fruits and vegetables. Um, and now I need to cook them. <laughs> I need to prepare them. So let's look at nine to 12 months because this is where we are. And I'm a little concerned um, that he's on track with the types of foods that we're introducing to him. So far, he's been having purees. Um, but I just went to look at daycares this morning. Exciting. And, you know, in the 12 to 24 month class, they're eating, you know, finger foods. And granted, he's just nine months. And that three month window means a lot. But he is not about finger foods. I've tried introducing them and he will squish it and play with it. He will not put it in his mouth. He doesn't want it unless it's warm and on a spoon. So, <clears throat> yeah. I just need to make sure that what we're introducing to him is like developmentally appropriate. Um, so now that we are getting closer, we're in that stage three, nine to 12 month period, he should be getting these chunky combinations. So let's look at that. Um, but first, let me show you what I picked up at Whole Foods because I went a little crazy. Went a little crazy. Be right back. All right. So first up, we have organic baby carrots. I have two small watermelon. I have red bell pepper. Kale. Raspberries, okra, blueberries, two peaches, and a lot of Japanese sweet potatoes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was hungry, guys. I was hungry. I was very hungry. You cannot, you cannot leave yourself you open and vulnerable like that. You're absolutely just going to have issues. So he has two teeth, little small teeth on the bottom front. So I think there's a huge difference between the 10 month and the 9 to 12 month because smoothies are okay, but finger foods, they still have to be soft. Um, because he's mostly just mushing them up with his gums. All right. So we're going to get into this. I'm going to go through here real quick, see what I can find. And then let's see how much of this we can cook and freeze. So give me two seconds and let's find some recipes. Okay, so I found several. But we're going to start with this one. This is the, let me zoom in so you can actually see it. Pear and carrot puree. So instead of using pears, I will be using um, another type of fruit. Probably, dum, 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 dum. let's do carrots and peaches. It needs to be something mild. Maybe carrots and blueberries. Carrots and blueberry puree. Hmm. Actually, no. We're going to do carrots and ginger. I forgot. I also got some ginger, hopefully. But yeah, so I don't have any pears. So I'm trying to think, what can I substitute? Pears are slightly sweet, but carrots are already pretty sweet on their own. So I don't want to go with raspberries. They're like way too much. Um, the peaches, oh, bless you. My grandma cat has a cold. Bless you, Schnucka. Bless you. Um... Bless you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you okay? Oh, let me, walk, let me wipe her nose. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I use TNT sanitizer because obviously I don't want to 
wipe snot off my cat's face and then turn around and make baby food. That's not what we're trying to do. So yeah, we need a mildly sweet vegetable and a mildly sweet fruit. And the only mildly sweet fruits that I think I have are these peaches, sort of. Sorry, these are the red bell peppers. Lord, help me. Are these peaches, and they're not that mild. Peaches are pretty sweet. Um, what about this combination? Right, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness. Let's give it a shot. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. The only other thing that I think is kind of mild is blueberries. I don't know, blueberries. They're great for antioxidants are going to be. I mean, yeah, they are pretty mild. Mm hmm. Whereas I think that this might be even more. And I'm imagining this will come out a pretty purple color. Wow, these blueberries are amazing, actually. <laughs> All right. So, screw it. Here some blueberries and ginger. Let's try it. Whatever. Let's just try it. All right. So, um, we're going to. I need instructions on blueberries, but I'm not entirely sure how to prep those. These I know I'm going to chop down and steam them with the ginger. The blueberries question mark. So hold on. Let me find out what we're supposed to do with it. Actually, scrap that idea. I have a better idea. What I'm going to do is go to the back of my little book here. And they actually have recipes by ingredient. Let's do it that way. I wonder if they have okra in here. I wonder if they foresaw my southern behind. Just trying to make baby food out of okra. I'm sure it's been done. Element OP. Surely, surely. Oh, it's not in here. There's no okra. Can you believe it? Okay, well, whatever. We'll come back to that. But anywho, let's start with carrots. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cod. Interesting. Carrots. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Like two huge sections just for carrots. So, carrot cake smoothie. That sounds pretty good. What section? I'm in the, yeah, yellow section. So, you could also move up to the, the 10 month olds as long as it's a smoothie. So, let's see. Our carrot cake smoothie is going to involve formula, a frozen banana. I'll have to sub in something else. Um, carrots. Medjool dates. I don't have any dates. We'll skip that. Nut butter of choice. Chia seeds. I don't have chia, but I do have quinoa, so we'll substitute that in. And cinnamon. Let's give it a shot, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Okay. And since I don't have um, banana, let's do peaches. Yeah, I think I'm settled on peaches this time. Let's do peaches. All right, so in a blender, combine all of the ingredients, process until smooth, and store any unoffered smoothie in the refrigerator for up to three days, that's it. No like cooking involved, no steaming, no nothing. You just blend it down. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Let's give it a shot. Let me zoom in here so you can see the recipe up close. All right, so let's give it a try. You can also add nutmeg and bum 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 ginger, which we will definitely be using. Other ingredients include unsweetened shredded coconut, chopped walnuts in place of the nut butter, if you've got a powerful blender, which I don't. I don't have a powerful blender. My mom's going to be bringing me one. Um soon, but she's not here yet. So let's see what we can do with this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get our um, blender cleaned it up and let's get started. 
Okay, so let's get into it. So we're going to do, it says half of a frozen banana. I don't have half of a frozen banana, so we're gonna use a half of a, half of a unfrozen <laughs> peach. Uh, cutting board. I'm just gonna keep these open for snacking. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, make room. How sweet this is. Not very. Mmm. It's not right. So it's gonna be more on the tangy side. Mm-hmm. It's not right. It's hard, tangy, and crunchy. Which I happen to love. But I don't think that's what this recipe is envisioning. Whatever. I'm going with it. In you go, my friend. Alright. One half a cup of sliced carrot. By the way, this recipe makes um, two cups worth of smoothie. I'm just gonna dice half a cup of dice sliced. Sorry, sliced carrot. Half a cup. There you go, basically. It's about a half a cup. We'll see. We'll see. All right. And then we're gonna do, we, we're skipping the date. We don't have any dates. A tablespoon of nut butter of choice. Just a moment. I'm gonna use macadamia nut. Let me see if I can find a tablespoon on here. Oh, that needs to be mixed up. Uh, there's been a, a little bit of separation. Let me grab a butter knife. Reblend this together. Okay, now let's give it a shot. All right, chia seeds, chia seeds. I don't have chia seeds, darn it. I forgot to pick those up. You know what, I think we'll use quinoa. We'll use quinoa instead, and then cinnamon. So this is not a lot of food. Interesting. All right, cinnamon. Cinnamon. And I'm going to also add in some ginger. Voila. Let's see. Okay, ginger. And what did I say? Ah, quinoa, just a second. All right, so I have some leftover frozen quinoa that I cooked and prepared for him a while ago. Uh, we'll just grab one of these, toss it in with our, um, if I can get it to pop out, come on. There we go. Squeeze it out like that. Voila, quinoa. And, We need to add, that was only gonna be one teaspoon of chia seeds, interesting. Um, so because I'm adding so much quinoa, we'll probably need to add more than a cup of formula. But it calls for one cup of breast milk formula or any non-dairy milk. Um, I also have coconut milk. So what I might do is formula and coconut milk. So let's start out with um, the formula. I'm gonna do Let's start it with five ounces. Be right back. Let me make that. 
All right, so we got five ounces of formula, and she goes. And like I said, if we need more, I will supplement with coconut milk. All right, so that's how we're looking. Let's go blend this up and see what we end up with. Carry over here. All right, so this is what I ended up with. Let me show you the texture. It's a little um, watery. I need to finish chopping that up, but that's the frozen block of quinoa. But I just wanted to show you like where we are so far. Um, and I tried it and it's bland. Like I don't taste anything. I don't taste anything but cinnamon. Um, so let me try it. I don't taste anything. I'm gonna add the rest of the peach. I'm gonna add some more carrots. And I'm gonna add more ginger. And I'm gonna add more nut butter. <laughs> I'm gonna add more everything. So let's start with our nut butter. I think I put too much. Five ounces of formula might have been too much. So anywho, here goes a second tablespoon of the macadamia nut butter. Okay, let's get that on in there. Here goes another half cup of carrots and a little chunk of ginger. Here goes the rest of our peach. All right, now let's see if we can get something a little bit more substantial. <laughs> All right, now let's try it. Okay, even the color looks better. Oh, we've got a smoother consistency. Mmm, and a nice taste. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, well, let me do it again so you can see how we're looking. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a darker orange now and also the texture is a lot thicker so yeah and it tastes great it tastes wonderful i love it tastes great i love it all right so this is this is the finished product thank you so much for joining me on honest try tv Again, this is Nicole. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below for your baby food. This has been my take on the uh, carrot cake smoothie, which includes carrots, ginger, peach, macadamia nut butter, formula, and quinoa. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.